uh, you are going to uh, see a lot of paintings and graphic presentations uh, collated by Mosumi Kandali. Let me introduce Mosumi Kandali first. Mosumi is one of the most prominent women writers from Northeast is included in Oxford Anthology, in Penguin Anthology, and uh, known as a cultural, uh, as a writer, as a teacher of culture. She teaches culture in culture studies. And uh, she was in Delhi when we met first time. And I'm fortunate enough, of course, after coming to Northeast, I have not met her in Tejpur. Uh, she has these days come to Tejpur. And, uh, uh, she will tell about uh, the thing what he says going to do uh, in this session. The other one uh, we will have is Uttal Barwa and uh, he will uh, tell about humor in Asumi's literature and uh, there will be some sort of, uh, you can say, fusion also. We will do fusion and the other fusion is very interestingly, the organizers have sent me a book by a, an author, uh, Nitu. She has written about women of Northeast. And uh, the, of course, she will not like, but she is from police service. <laughs> but doesn't matter. Some of the problem. Uh, so uh, we'll put it together, one after another. You be, be, be here, be here. It's a very interesting fusion. So uh, you will, I hope you'll like it, and we'll continue. Again, I, I'm very happy that uh, Mr. Nirmal Kantibhata Chaji is here. So over to Mausuli. Good morning. Uh, basically, as uh, Nada has said, I'm a short story writer, but also my pillow area is visual art, visual cultural practice of Northeast. So what I want to show you actually, uh, actually they asked me to talk about Brahmaputra current literary trends. But I, I have been doing that so far. But my point is no one has so far talked about the visual cultural practice. Whenever we talk about Northeast, it's only about the crafts or the traditional practice. So there are a lot of contemporary artists who are reacting, mediating to the situation since last three decades. Of course, it began in Assam long back in 1920s. I'm not going into the history part. I'll quickly, it's a long slide show, which I did it for JNU, students of JNU. But what I'll do, of course, the other scholars also. I'll skip the first part and then I'll show you how some artists from the seven states of Northeast, uh, Sikkim is not part of this project, are reacting to the kind of turmoil. I'm sure those who are following Northeast know that there are certain political problems. There are, you know, dichotomy between militarism and militancy, like state military, or, or the, you know, the secessionist forces that, you know, conflicted the area. So how common people, they are torn between this two and how poets are reacting, like Imo Bocha, one friend of Manipur says that I want to be killed by not the bullet of a militant but the bullet of an Indian army. So interesting parody and there are a lot of layer things, one can go on and on about the various interesting things that have come up actually. It's very vibrant, trust me, the literature and art scene is very vibrant. Only thing is it's not getting that kind of exposure since it is in the periphery of national imagination. So I'm coming to the uh, point. It's narrating violence, how they are mediating the immediate violence. So uh, I begin with Bhupen Hajarika. I'm, I'm sure you must have heard about Bhupen Hajarikas. So his song, the countless soldiers of creation, battle of wound of destruction, the conflict creates a new horizon of progress in the ocean of my mind. Let my song hail the struggle of the time, the cascading light of life when you are artist on. So I begin as a tribute to him, I begin this. And then I'll skip, uh, I have already said that in the cultural sphere of Northeast has always been, you know, identified as a mystical, you know, mystical something or as a ferocious, frightening something. So this binary has to be, you know, uh, transcended and over. So I'm not going into this whole trajectory of theorization. I'll write what put you to the visual so that you can understand and understand for yourself. And then you can ask me, I'm skipping the history part. Yeah. I'm coming to the last 1980s, two decades. This is 1980s. Devananda Ulu. And as you know, in Northeast and in Assam, there are a lot of various indigenous people and tribe. So Ulu belongs to a tribe called Ninda tribe. So what he is doing is, he talks about death of a river. This is a performance art. Death of a river definitely talks about Brahmaputra, the kind of 
you know, the e ecological degradation that has happened. So when they are talking about violence, it's not only about the state violence or the, you know, violence by the militant. They are also talking about the violence inflicted by the human being on nature. So this is, it was a very interesting depiction of uh, violence of that kind. Then Rajkumar Majimda brings in very interesting signifiers like the cement growth, how they are, you know, <laughs> trying to, you know, do all kind of deforestation. It's completely degrading the beautiful, you know, not is as beautiful as Goa. Beautiful scenic scene, hills and hills. But slowly and slowly nothing has remained. Everything has turned into almost, as the poet would say, ashen. So Rajkumar, if you see, you can see that. This is another, this is a painter from Arunachal Pradesh, Punya Chobin. And those who follow art, you will know that he is following the dance by Matthias. It's an interesting appropriation and subversion by Matthias. So you can see the cityscape, the larking cityscape, which he's trying to detest. And then they are there dancing, but look at the macabre kind of expression, actually they are. I mean, from the smile, how they are actually talking about the agony, the climate change, how the de deforestation as well as aggressive modernization is changing the old lifestyle. So what kind of dance they are dancing? Really interesting take on. And then, of course, I'll come to that individual sphere. How artistic persona as an individual are negotiating with this whole idea of violence? When you have constant, you know, turmoil. If you follow the history of notice in the last four or five decades, you'll know. So, this is, please look at all the signifiers, how the collective and state goes and pervades the private realm. You can look at the pointed finger. You can see the conflict between the personal and the collective. Again, this is Prasant Shinha for Tripura. Look at those, look at the below part. You can see rifles and bullets, right? Again, Prasant Shinha, please look at. The whole intestine turns into a rocket launcher here. If you can see the very interesting juxtaposition of, you know, uh, weapons and then human body and how human body is subjugated to the kind of violence. <coughs> Again, I'll skip quickly. And then, of course, the narrative of gender violence is, I think, common everywhere. It's not only specific to Northeast. But even then, how things are aggravated. When the state itself is aggravated by already state politics and other kind of turmoil, and it is children and women who become the first target. Because so many people, you know, women were raped at the time. So these are some of the uh, capturing of those women. I'm sorry, actually, what happened? After a vibrant musical you know, performance, then you suddenly <laughs> encountered this sad and how to put it? Even I'm fumbling, but this is another slice of notice. I know there are celebrations and everything is going on, but also we need to remind ourselves that there are also ruptures here and there. There are also wounds here and there. And this contradiction is like. This contradiction is like. And this whole struggle is that we have been going through. In the morning also I had a read, done a reading about the Assam meditation and how a child who is in a mental asylum is trying to, you know, consolidate. So again, this is Sanjita Saikya. You can see how she, her body is crushed. These were the born bodies, you know, once they were born. You can see the Paul Barwas, who is a professor in IIT Guwahati and he is a very well-known painter and uh, you will see the women's body will be stitched. In. Now I am coming to the violence in the realm of social manifestations in the collective sphere. Operation, exploitative operation by various agencies or various hegemonic groups, not only the state. So, uh, this is by a Bodo. I am sure you must have heard about the indigenous people of Bodo who are demanding Bodo land in Assam. So, Shobha Brahmo, he is expired a few years ago. He was a very prominent, you know, voice in talking about violence. So you can see the sea. What this is? This is actually epitomizes the land of Bodo land and the kind of conflicts there through the body of the female. And this again is a very interesting subversion of Paul Gaga's women from Tahiti. Who have you seen that painting? Women from Tahiti who holds, you know, various fruits in a basket. Look at the subversion here. The woman, she is not her. Nick is in the guillotine like structure and she is holding a, a, a plate where you can see severed bodies of animals and so she is completely subverts the beauty and it becomes grotesque. 
So this is Bhunka. If you remember once Bhunka, the entire village was raped by militant. So she, he has talked about this whole incident. Sometimes there are erasers of memories in public sphere and artists and writers, what they do, they try to capture it and then we revisit those zones and try to remember. So this is that kind of things. Again, Benemitius newspaper. So in the 80s, he had done this in the 80s. What happened? Every day you open the newspaper as if you are standing on a skull on it. So this kind of depiction. Again, this is dated by Venomishra, which where you can see the uh, Pieta, the analogy of Pieta has been resurrected here. How and the how angels who, who actually hovers over the beautiful little angels, they are actually transformed into some very, very deceptive figures who masquerade in the form of angels and come and you know entice you to date and violence. So this again is a, this is a very beautiful subversion of Vishnu Avatar. If you look, look at the smile, you'll never come across Vishnu. So it seems that Vishnu has taken this avatar and not us like, no. But this is a smile and skull-like. So that again is a... I'm speaking uh, quickly. This is bandage series by Nani Gorpujari. All the figures are wrapped in bandage. One after another. Decades after decades he has been doing that. As if it reminds me of Somnath who started working on Bengal's Hemayan, if you remember. His own series. So similarly, Nani Borbujer is born dream of a girl in the Avenda series. A reminder, of, a reminder of the time that we had been through. Again, Devananda coming back to this is a very evocation of the indigenous folklore and with the through that, how people are negotiating with the kind of state violence. This again, if you look at this, this I don't have to. You know, you can look at the picture and you can understand what kind of experience they are trying to depict. This is interesting, if you look at, this is the state of notice. If you look at the background, this yellow, this is the map of northeastern states, right? The yellow. Can you see the yellow patch? That is, so this is, I think, that it epitomizes everything that's going on. The, 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 the rhino that you see, Kajiranga, what is happening there, the broken, the one with, everywhere you can see this whole network of, claustrophobic experience that people are going here. So the blood flowing from a very ancient monument. So this again is a map of Assam which is hanging in the total line and you can see it's clouded by various. So this again is a very important monument of the Ahom King and how it has been juxtaposed with you. You know, the signifiers are very common, so I'm quickly skipping it. <coughs> Just try to fill the kind of works they are doing. Slow. Slow? Okay. Slow, not pure one. Okay. And counter. I mean, I don't have to keep on explaining. If you look at the painting, you see it all. My soul is burning now. Gandhi is uh, evoked. That again is a tribute. If you see, these are all uh, actions, and then these are poems written by various Assamese poet on violence. So what he has done, Raskumar Majinda has done an installation. He has mounted this. Red, of course, is a signifier of the blood and other kind of violence. And then all the poems he has written, handwritten it, and put it in a circle as a tribute to the time we had in Jain Raskumar Majimda, Assam Toil and Goyal. So you can see the logo of Indian oil is used here. And Indian oil usually talks of the developmental progress and modernization, symbol of modernization. Whereas if you see the symbol of the rhino is broken here. The, the, so you, you see the contradiction and irony in which very subtly the artist rings out. Again, this is holy bad. Of course, there is a connection to biblical and then of course equating with the current situation here. Uh, I'll quickly go, these are secret killing. This is important because Manisha Brahma himself was shot down, tried to shut down by militant. He had, if you see his body, he has 29 bullets marked all over. He was crawling throughout the night. He's a very good friend of mine. And then he started doing this victim series. In some of these awards, he has also actually used his own body. This is secret killing by Simanta Burwa. If you know Assam, during Assam hesitation, there was secret killing by the state. So these are, I mean, at 
episodes to discuss. I don't think we have enough time. time but after that, also so many things. Uh, so, killings. So this victim series by Manishu is, I mean, it's a like you can go on. So it's all based on his own experience. That is his body, if you see, if you can see. That is, he has used, he's a graphic painter, so he has used his photograph of his own body, and then, you know, he has done a montage on it. This is all. That again, this is the Shara Mission Collective by Miraga has become really, very internationally reputed. They have been exhibited in all the finales and finales all over the world. They have become now a very prominent group, collective. So he talks about disturbed area network. They are all digital artwork. So if you Google, if you go to his site, you'll come across. This is called disturbed area network. So the moment you go, he takes you to the spots where those incidents had happened. So it's like an interactive artwork, very experimental video artwork. So and another work called Politics of Real Time, where he has, he has actually been to the places, documented it and used it. And these are stills. This is a very great video, but somehow it's not working now. So these are actually real real footage taken from the video art, uh, from the journalist. You can see, if you look, that is in Manipur, where the militants are standing. Can you see the below? So he is, has used all this and he's exhibited all over the world this one. So these are various spots where, you know, alpha militant were, you know, they had encounters and all this. This is a burning of the people and all. So I'm quickly leaving all this. Finally, I'll, maybe I'll skip this long, long presentation. Again, alpha beta, when you are, you are from North East, especially if you have a different kind of look, you know, racial look, then how people see you as not Indian. That is, there is an actual name, you know. <laughs> the name is used like Chinky, you know, which he works. So from some part of the people, some section of the people, from not here, it's a real. Like when you were not allowed to go to the, uh, to see Taj Mahal, you were asked to take, to take ticket for the, you know, as if you are not Indian, they are asked. So kind of relation they have. So I'll show you. Quickly, these are all from performances. Uh, quickly, I will skip it. These are again rain, rain, which actually what rain. And these are all you can see, these are bullet marks. So they are very bad. Aid and everything. 30th October, where there was a uh, huge bomb blast in Guwahati and many other cities altogether. Simultaneous bomb blast. So, these are all the fiction of this. I will quickly go. This is against Holocaust and terrorism. This is public art installation in Diholi Pukri, uh, which is a lake, very ancient lake uh, in Gohati, and the whole installation and performance was done around it. So these are from Manipuri artists who are actually doing a funeral rite for the mankind. This is funeral for humankind. This is uh, practice. So, so this is doing what? As if his doing this funeral life for death of mankind. This again is, a, I know, she a very famous figure. Whatever happened now, forget about it, but for 14 years he stood like a rock. So, you know who I'm talking about and referring. So, yeah, I'll, our life. So, I'll not go on, on. I mean, I'll not take much time. I'll end with a uh, very interesting, huh. I'll end with this. Have you seen Abandina Tigger's Bharat Mata? Where Bharat Mata is? Very beautiful, right? Forget about those black hands on the fair. She is a fair lady. So what Mrinmoy Dev Barma has done, he has subverted that figure of Bharat Mata. He wrapped it and he's questioned it. I mean, the kind of agony that Bharat Mata is going through now, we need to look at it. And again, he uses this comic. Huh, this is Eilish. So what is the idea of nation? This is again a work by Minmoy uh, Dev Barma. She is asking like, there are various depictions of Bharat Mata, various depictions of representation of the idea of India, like Avananath Tagore and various artists from different, different locations. So he has juxtaposed this one. These are from various part of India. Okay, he has taken all this famous painting made a collage and in between he has put the figure of an Adi woman from Arunachal and say, this is also India. This is also India. India not only means this, but this is also India. 
हाँ सो आई एल एंड विथ ए पोएम बाय मेजर पोएट शेरी चांगटी हाउ डज एन इंडियन लुक सेलिब्रेटेड लैंड ऑफ डाइवर्सिटी टूरिस्ट ब्रॉशर्स कलरफुल एंड हाइब्रिड रिच यूज स्ट्राइकिंग कस्ट्यूम इंटरेस्टिंग फेसेस एंड वेरिटेबल बेनिटोन नेट्स डिफरेंस इन थ्योरी आर एप्रिशिएट मेक ए गुड टॉपिक फॉर पॉलिटिशियन स्पीच आर वी एस प्राउड ऑफ आर यूनिटी एज वी आर ऑफ आवर डाइवर्सिटी The largest democracy in the world sounds good on paper, not too good for those who, in land of their professors, to deny the presence of a mainstream. Still, has little rivulet and brooks, curiously trying to keep pace with the river, sideline, side track, side step, a minority in the majority world. You look at me, I find this ending. You look at me and you see my eyes, chinky eyes, like this. My skin, my language, my face. You dissect my past, analyze my present. Predict my future, build my profile. I am a curiosity, an ethnic specimen. Politics, history, anthropology, your impressive learning, all unable to answer the fundamental question: What does an Indian look like? An Indian looks like me. An Indian is me. The North is this Indian.